So in the previous video, we got our points pretty much set up to where we can see each other's points, as well as actually uh, they appear in the widget at the right hand side and they get updated accordingly across the network. So that is something that is working. What I want to do now is make it so you can distinguish yourself from the other clients. So by that, we're going to look at our HUD, go to graph, and we're also going to make a slight change in here. So here we have our event construct, and we added a delay. Because of how we're setting this up in the game mode with our temp on client ready, which simply after uh, just X seconds, after five seconds, it goes ahead and uh, loops through all the player states and just fires it. Again, that's the temporary solution. We are going to go ahead and remove the delay, just link it up directly. If we come down here, find event on clients ready. Again, this is what we're firing. We loop through and we spawn a bunch of these guys uh, here. It's our live points list, which is an array of live points. So it's this widget right here. Let's open that up. Here we can see our points. And for now, we're just going to increase the size. So we're going to go over to graph. And here's where we're going to change it. So I want to go ahead and make a new function. It's going to be it private. Let's give it the different name. So let's call it set owner. I guess just set owner size. And we're simply going to compile and save. And same thing with our HUD widget. We're just going to go ahead and compile and save that. So in our set owner size function, what we're going to be doing is let's go ahead and drag off our player state pointer. We're going to do a get. First off, let's do if it's we'll see if it's valid. Uh, then we're gonna also do get player character. Drag off that and do get player state. Also want to know if this is valid too. So what we're gonna do as well is is actually we can just do a pretty simple. Uh, and I have an and boolean, so let's drag off this, do valid, plug it up, separate these a little bit, same thing, we're going to check if it's valid, plug that up, and if they're both valid, what we want to do is we want to check if they're equal to each other, so I'm going to drag off this player state, search for equal, now I'm drag this player state, and connect it. I'm going to add a pin and plug it up. Let's try to clean this up a little bit however we can. I guess let's just expand it out some. Just like so. And pretty much what we're going to be doing from here is all we're doing is we're checking and making sure player state pointer is valid. If the player state that we're getting is valid, and if they equal each other, we're good to go. So what we're going to do is drag off here, do a branch, and connect that up. And this should hopefully return true only for ourself. So what we're going to do here is we want to grab our text for our points, and we just want to increase the size. So drag off that, we're going to do a uh, search for font. We see set font. Connect that up to true. As you can see, it takes in a structure for a font, so we're going to drag off and press Make Slate Font Info. Click the little drop down arrow to see the rest of the settings. This has several things in it, and we don't need to fill each one of these out necessarily ourselves. We can drag off of our points again. We're just going to do Get Font. Here we have our font. We're going to break it. Click the drop down again, and we have all of our info. So I'm going to expand this out a little bit more, get it away, clean it up. There. We're just going to link everything up aside from the size. So for the size, what we're just going to do, search for plus. And uh, 
Well, actually, let's just give it a default value. Go to designer. So we're at 16 right now. Let's go to 20. Pile and save. And now we just got to call this function. So under event graph in the construct, we're just simply going to call set owner size. Pile and save. And let's see what it looks like. Hopefully that's big enough to be obvious, which it kind of is. We can clearly see that one is definitely bigger. I'm going to play with four clients and hope my computer doesn't explode. The server down. Yeah, you can see each one has their own that is bigger than the other. So if I purchase, it's for that specific client. like so. So as you can see, all the points uh, correspond correctly, as well as it shows who has the, um, the uh, uh, what's it called? It shows which one you are by just having a, well, simply a slightly bigger font. I want to increase this a little more. I want to go up to 22. Just see what the difference is there. I'll play a uh, Two clients using the selected viewport. It's F11 just so I can see it. And yeah, I'd say that's that's big enough of a difference. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we now have our font set up. So well, not our font set up, but our uh, point set up to a bigger size so that way we can see which one is our own. So that is just one more thing out of the way. Uh, there's one more thing that I want to do. I think we'll probably do that next with the points. I'm not entirely sure yet, but anyhow, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description, as well as if you have any questions or anything like that, you can also find a link for my Discord server down below. And as always, I will see you in the next one.